So we had a mix of folks going for the summer and then the fall, right? So I thought maybe it'd be useful if I just walked through a little bit of how to structure your study schedules in the lead up. So there's three phases of LSAT studying in my opinion. There's accuracy, there's pacing, and there's endurance. So accuracy is working untimed by type. So like I said, for games, for example, that could be ordering, then grouping, then combination, specifically within each category, easy ordering, moderate ordering, difficult ordering, then on to grouping, and so on. So you do this untimed, working by type. In my study plans, I'll have you read a particular chapter in a prep book, then read the relevant articles on my site covering the theory, and then the practice involves the actual LSAT exams, working through the games by type, then doing the same for logical reasoning, then doing the same for reading comprehension. So that's all untimed. You don't want to time yourself and get discouraged when the results don't match up with what your goals are, but that's natural that they wouldn't because you're just learning the basics. The LSAT is kind of like a foreign language, and so it's normal for you to have trouble with it at first. So you just work untimed at the first. Then second phase is pacing, where you do individual timed sections of 35 minutes. Maybe you can't hit the 35 minute mark yet. Maybe it's taking you 40 or 45 or 50, whatever it is, that's fine. So let's say you're currently at 50. Maybe you want to challenge yourself a little bit and go to try to solve it in 48 minutes. And then gradually under each subsequent attempt of a time section, you reduce it by a minute or two here and there till eventually you get down to the 35 minute mark. If it just is not happening for you no matter what, and you maybe have a case for something like ADHD, then you go to a doctor, you pay them some money, they diagnose you, they give you the analysis, and maybe you get extra time. I've noticed a lot of my students getting extra time. It's become more common since LSAC got sued. The federal government, there was a big lawsuit, the Americans with Disabilities Act. LSAC has gone from being overly restrictive on giving extra time to now giving it to lots and lots of people. So I know it's problematic. I see some of you shaking your heads. I, I feel similarly, but it is what it is. So you could go from getting 35 minutes to getting 53. Perfection. Yeah, or 35 to 70. So time and a half or double time, excuse me? I, I have an appointment for <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, all right, all right, yeah. Give it a shot, see what happens. I mean, they do give it to a lot of people and it's, it's kind of... That's a great question. <laughs> Yeah, uh, do, do you have difficulty focusing, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. I start and then I just like fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not speaking pregnant, then I see No, I hear you. I mean, some people do have a valid case for it, and it's kind of always hard to tell who has a valid case, who doesn't, but let the doctors in LSAC decide, right? So you could get time and a half, you could get double time. Time and a half is easier to get. But it's obviously an enormous, and it's, it's obviously an enormous benefit. The downside is, as, as someone said, there, there's the endurance, right? You could get totally burned out. 53 minutes for five sections, that really lengthens your LSAT test day, right? It goes from being three hours to longer. So what if you're done prior to the time you think you want? No. It's, you're always limited within that set. Yeah, so think about it. You know, if you have you you have your 35 minute sections, if you have five of those plus a 10 minute break, that becomes close to something like three plus hours. When you consider like, excuse me, yeah, the right. Well, actually, I'm glad you, I'm glad you mentioned that. So the writing sample starting in June, you don't do it at the test center anymore. You do it at home on the computer. Yeah, super weird, right? It's never been that way before. <laughs> 